bumper. I completely agree with you with using bitches when they're being bitches and kicking them to the curb. Everybody should listen to exactly what you say, and if they do follow it to the T, then it'll work, period. That's it. I've got three words for those stupid men out there that still decide that they're going to get married to these women. Prenup, prenup, prenup. Your open-mindedness and your intelligence is just so sexy. Tom, you, you, you explaining it the way it's got to be explained. It's simple. If they ain't going to pick up, they're not going to clean, and I'm busting my ass bringing, you know, the money home, you got you got to make me some food. You got to take care of me. If you're not going to do it, then that's right. We shouldn't get married. Feminist has a lot of negative connotations, but you're actually more pro-women than you get credit I, for. I'm, America, I'm America's original feminist. You teach people to own their choices, be accountable, and be an independent member of society and not wait around for some guy to be a meal ticket and then be mad at him when he doesn't put the toilet lid down. Kevin, what did you want to say to Ellen? Hey, are you kidding me? This guy is so much of a pussy that he has his bitch wife calling and bitch for him? Is that, is hey, that it's him? great facts. There's a lot of women out there who would take a guy I, for great I facts. I hear him. I hear him in the background. Put him on if he's such a man. Fine, here. Hello. Yeah, hi. There you go. Are you kidding me? You're a, such a pussy, dude. Get a job and find the women that will do more things to you than this woman could do to you tonight. Really? You think that's better than putting great food all over a woman's body and eating it off? Maybe Did you should put some food on your wife and then have sex with her. I got the the, the entourage guy beaten with my story. What do you do? I pretend to be Freddie Prince Jr. Now that's interesting because what's the last thing Freddie Prince Jr. did? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were joking that there was an all-white radio station. Is this really true? Oh, yes. All-white. What market do they think they're in? I wouldn't be caught. Sounds like white. Salt Lake City they think they're in. <laughs> I'm white. I would not be caught dead listening to an all-white radio station. I encourage my nephews to listen to you. They're, sometimes they don't really listen. They're 21 years old and they want a serious girlfriend. I'm like, no, 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 no. No girlfriends allowed. You need to listen to Tom Likas until you're at least 25. And then you can have a serious relationship. And then I guarantee you, you're not going to want to have one. You want chicks to be insecure about their appearance. You want chicks to be worried about whether they're thin enough, whether their boobs are big enough, whether they're good enough. That's what we want. No doubt, man. That's how you get your control. Bro. You want you want the, you want a world of you want a world of Queen Latifas and other women who are large and in charge, walking around all sassy and confident. No, I want women who are completely, completely insecure. My dad listens to you. My brother listens to you. Actually, my whole family of men listen in at three p.m. The sex was okay. Like actually, with the legs on, we were able to do more positions, and it was like. A good thrusting position. Yeah, well, let's say let's say you uh, put her over on the all threes. <laughs> like, yeah. like, how do you, how do you, what do you hold her up with? You have to put like a couple of phone books under there. What do you do? No, we actually did that position, and it worked. Like she had, you she did. had good balance. Uh, uh, she had great balance. <laughs> she had great balance. <laughs> From it's the, 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 the Tom Likas show. Oh my god! And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Likas show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you. Really care about it's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're gonna need it. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight. Six six. It's Friday on the Tom Likas Show with wide open telephones. Anything goes, anything at all. We can talk about anything that's on your mind. It can be anything we discussed on the air this week, anything you think we should have talked about. You can call up, yell, scream, complain, jump up and down. It's all fair game as long as you're absolutely fascinated. If you're not, we kick your ass the hell off the telephone. Just call us here at 1-800-5800-TOM. 
one 800 866 Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Mike. Hey, I just uh, wanted to ask you about uh, option trading, uh, you know, a more complicated way of investing. Uh, if you have a lot of options, I mean, if you have a lot of stock, you know, you can uh, sell options uh, against it, sell calls. What do you think how, about that? how much experience do you have trading stocks? Uh, about three years. Uh huh. And how much have you made? Um, so far, it's uh, I'd say a few thousand. A few thousand. Yeah. How much have you lost in the past year? Uh, just about two grand. That's my point. Yeah. Son, you don't know about that. Did somebody invite you to a seminar or? You see a commercial on TV or so. Where did you hear about options trading? Uh, I'm, I'm listening to uh, to like different shows. I'm I'm four or five, man. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm stuck in traffic, man. It's horrible. Yeah, well, you and everybody else. That's true. That's true. That's how I make my business. All you people stuck on the four hundred five. Yeah. God forbid they ever clean up the traffic on the four hundred five. I'm a dead man. It's true. So, so, uh, where did you hear about options trading? And now I have to know. Oh, um, I, well, I heard it, um, I heard it, um, on, sorry, man, sorry, I have to go. Damn. Here we go. <laughs> he did not want to be asked any questions. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. Here's Chad on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how's it going, Dad? It's okay, son. I just had a question. I was actually on the MySpace and checking out the uh, Miss Landmine. I just Miss Landmine to... Angola, 2008, yes. That's right. I just want to know which one of these girls uh, would you most likely want to go out and... Uh... You know, I, I am so excited by this group of, 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 of young gimps. I, I was very, very impressed with these young ladies. Yeah, there's actually a couple of good-looking ones on there. And a couple of real homely types, but at least they fit the basic requirement of the contest, which is that you had your leg blown off by a landmine. Right. Yes, we have a video. If you go to our MySpace page, it's uh, myspace.com slash T-O-M-L-E-Y-K-I-S, Tom Likas. Uh, you will right. see, you will see uh, towards the bottom of the videos there, you will see the Miss Landmine Angola contest and some of the fine... Uh, some of the fine photos of uh, some of the finalists. That's where I uh, got got it the first time, and then I went onto your website, saw the link, and now I'm on the website checking out all the girls. Yeah, they're hot. They are. Yeah, if you go to blowmeuptom.com, it links you right into the Miss Landmine website, and uh, you can tell us who you would have voted for for uh, Miss Landmine Angola 2008. Yeah, I personally would have voted for uh, Miss Kuzana Soul, 25. She's pretty good looking. Very nice. All right, Tom, well, thanks a lot for letting me on the show. Can uh, you take me out with a bong hit? I certainly can. <coughs> Gerardo on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Is that Gerardo or Gerardo? It's Gerardo. How are Gerardo. You call me, Tom? How are you doing this afternoon, brother? What, whatever works, Gerardo. I'm fine. You're the master, man. I just wanted to call you to thank you, man. I just realized a woman called you a minute ago. You know, she was talking about her trying to be over here, how to save up money. And, you know, you were, you were telling her not to be dumb about wasting her money, you know. That's not yours, borrowing money. And right now, what I'm about to do is pay off my debt. Right now, at this moment, I'm not going to owe nothing to the banks, thanks to you. And you're right, man. Listen to the master. Girls hate you. Some of them do. Some of them love you. But some of them don't really like the way you think. They should listen to you more because you're really experienced. You know what you're saying. It seems like you know exactly what people are going through, like you said earlier, you know. So listen to you. You're an experienced man. You're not just making things, you know, for a dumb reason. You got a good show going on, and I want to congratulate you and thank you, Tom. Gerardo, thank you very much. I appreciate the call. Let me get uh, this is uh, is this Ben Ben on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Good morning, Tom. How are you doing? Or afternoon. What, what what time zone are you calling from? I'm actually calling here in Victorville. I'm just a little shook up because I Victorville. Uh, what is that? Four hours earlier there? Or what? <laughs> no, 
Um, I'm calling in regards to uh, real estate market this time of year. I'm just wondering if it's a good time to buy. I actually put an offer in on a house that's about uh, 250000 for the offer, but the house is going for, I think their asking price is like two seventy nine. Well, uh, first of all, I just bought a home uh, myself. So uh, what I'm telling you uh, is what I did myself. Um, I've been telling people for years it's not the time to buy a house. But now is the time to buy a house. But, Ben, uh, don't be stupid. Don't don't get stuck with somebody else's problem. Exactly. Uh, uh, you, you know, I mean, you need to look. You need to do your homework. But first of all, can you put down a substantial down payment? I could put it probably down about 10% down on the 250 Are you pre-qualified for a mortgage? Yes, I'm already pre-qualified by two lenders. Okay, good. And um, let me ask you this question. Can you afford the cost of owning a house? And it's a lot more than you think. Well, I was sitting there looking at the uh, the cost of the mortgage. is probably going to be on a $250,000 house, about fourteen to $1,600 a month, plus your PMI and uh, taxes and insurance, which is... PMI, which you would not have to pay if you were putting 20% down. Yes, sir. Which twenty percent down? I cannot seem to afford. Well, and that's why I tell people sometimes you have to admit you can't afford some. Exactly. So you have to think about that. PMI is a mortgage insurance, yes, and sir. it's because the uh, uh, the mortgage uh, company doesn't think you've got enough skin in the game. Gotcha. So uh, they want you to pay the cost of insuring that mortgage, and it's more money wasted, and it increases the cost of your home. Because the total amount of the PMI will be added up, and then it will be added to the price of your house. So you'll not only be paying the PMI, you'll be paying interest on the PMI. Uh, Do you know that? Yes, sir. And you're okay with that? Yeah, it's uh, averages out to about $150 a, a month on PMI. But if I pay an extra on the principal down at least $100 a month, I believe I can get the uh, the principal down even further and it'll offset some of the interest and stuff as well. Well, I recommend you get the principal down as low as you can afford to get it down. Um, now, right. another another question. Have you looked at costs like property taxes and insurance? Yes, I have. The property tax in this area is, you know, they say it's 1%, but I'm just going to average it out to 1.25% at least. Right. And, and so... Insurance in that area is probably about uh, every six months, 1100 bucks. Where do About you work? 40%. What part of town I'm a do you work? Electrician. I live all the way, or I work all the way in Irvine. So, how far will you have to commute to that home? Uh, about an hour and a half. It depends because my work takes me all the way up to Ventura area, all the way down to San Diego. But I do have a company vehicle and gas car and everything like that. So, all right, because you do know now that gas is over four dollars a gallon. Yes, sir, I do. Luckily for me, my company and pays for it. The company pays even for your ride home? Great. Yep. And wear and tear on your vehicle? Yep. It is a company vehicle as well. Okay. So you don't use your own car? Nope. You have no car costs at all? Okay. And uh, insurance? Have you gotten a quote on uh, insurance? Yeah. I went through a AAA, and they were quoting me about 1100 every six months. All right. That's 2200 a year. And what about earthquake insurance? I believe that is covered in the insurance policy, sir. Don't no no. Don't assume that. Okay. Well, I, I believe it's that. I believe it's not the fire insurance as well. Well, yes, fire insurance and but earthquake insurance is is generally not included in homeowners insurance. Uh, that's something to ask. You need to look at that. What would happen if there was an earthquake and your house fell to pieces? You couldn't afford to rebuild it, and then you'd have a mortgage. And you would owe the entire cost of the home and the PMI, mm -hmm. and you would not be able to afford to rebuild your home. So good. Good things, you need to, things you need to look at. Yeah, uh, another thing you need to look at, do you, do, you know, do you know what the deductible is on earthquake insurance? It's insane. Really? Yeah. I, I, I have earthquake insurance where the deductible is $100,000. That is insane. Well, you need to do a little more homework. All righty. All right. You think the interest rates might drop a little more? Well, they might or might not, but uh, they're in a pretty good place right now, not as low as they had been. 
I mean, the fact that you've got two lenders who've approved you is very good because it's hard to get a loan right now. So that's a good thing. Uh, you've done some homework, and that that's good. Uh, but you really got to look at the cost of uh, operating that home. Remember, every time the plumbing leaks, uh-huh. you're either the repairman of last resort or you have to pay someone to cut. You say you are a plumber? No, I'm an electrician. You're an electrician, all right? Well, the plumbing leaks, you're the plumber. That's fine. Do you know how to do that? Yes, sir. Do you know how to do all the household uh, things that uh, involve repair around the home? Yes. That's good. Okay, that's positive. So, uh, like I say, I'm not uh, telling you not to do it. I, I think the timing is great. There are so many foreclosures right now. Are you buying a foreclosed home? Actually, no. It's one that's actually sitting in a track. There's one that's down the street that's a short sale going for, like, 170 which is a lot lot cheaper, but I'm not sure about short sales. You can put in an offer, sit there for two to four months, and still not get it. Yeah, but what's your rush? What is your rush? No, no rush at all. Well, that's my point. So what if you waited three or four months? The home I bought in Santa Barbara County, uh-huh. I, I agreed to buy it in November. You know when I closed escrow? February. Nice. And you know what that meant? That in November, December, January, and half of February... I didn't have to pay for insurance, property taxes, maintenance, nothing. The longer it took for them to close, the more it cost them and the less it cost me. Gotcha. On this house, he counter, came back and countered for a 264 on that. I'm wondering if maybe I should just hold firm on 250. Uh, I, you know what? If there's a house in the neighborhood that's the same, essentially the same house uh-huh. with a bunch of tract homes, I'd have lowballed them. I would have offered a lot less. Gotcha. Unless that other house down the block is in ruins or something. No, it actually was owned by a broker, and it's actually beautiful inside. Well, what are you doing? Why would you Why would you buy a more expensive house right. in the same neighborhood? The only drawback is that house doesn't have a backyard. It's like the size of a car length in the backyard, and that's it. All right. So there's less property. Yeah. Right. All right. The other one might be a higher resale value as well. The other one might be a higher resale value? The one that I put the offer in, sorry. Well, uh, you can't worry about that because right now nothing's going up in value. <laughs> gotcha. I mean, let me, let me tell average you one other thing, Ben. I've owned four houses, so let me uh-huh. give you a little word of advice. Stop worrying about resale value. If, buy a house you're going to live in, in a place you like to live. Don't buy a house in an area you don't like. Don't buy a house with the intention of moving out in less than five years. Don't do it. Yeah, I was going to say, doesn't the average homeowner keep the house for seven to ten years? Well, but a lot. You know, you got a lot of these morons the last few years who say, "I'll buy a house, I'll paint it up, I'll fix it up, and I'll put it on the market. I'll make, I'll make fifty thousand dollars. I'll make a hundred thousand dollars." And a lot of these people are the ones we see on the news now crying and throwing me out of my house. I can't afford to pay the mortgage. <laughs> Yeah, which is another thing. Why should we bail them out for this? We, we shouldn't bail them out. As far as I'm concerned, they should all be kicked out of their homes. And if, if they live under a freeway underpass, hopefully they learn their lesson. Sir. Well, Tom, can you blow me up? I certainly can. Tom Like It. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. Like It. In this day and age, for a man to get married, he's only looking to lose. It's the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Mitch on the Tom Likas Show. Wide open telephones for Friday. Hello. Hey, Tom, this is Mitch. I just said that. All right, listen, Mr. Tom, I, I, I'm really a, a short-time listener and a fan. Hello? Do you need me to say, uh-huh, every three seconds? Oh, no, sir. I can do that. My radio's off. Listen, I'm a short-time listener and a fan. Uh-huh. I think you turned your back on our people this week. Uh-huh. I heard a, I heard, I heard a man... Uh, our people? What people are those? The white people. The white people. I turned my back on our people. How did I do that? Well, there was a man wrote in a nice letter, uh, 
uh, you're talking about uh, K White and whatnot. K White, have you listened to K White yet? Uh, I believe I have. Uh huh. Although I'm a little bit older for that, and that's not my station of choice. So you uh, you like something for older white people? Yes, sir. Okay. But I would like you to uh, to consider our people, and you're one of us, and I, and I and I really like your views about the whole thing about the women. And about your finances, I really think you're doing a good job for people in a service out there. But I don't want you to forget that you're one of us. Well, I don't date white women. How do you feel about that? Uh, that's your individual choice. Uh, but I don't So you don't consider that to be turning my back on, on yes, us whiteies? Well, yes, I do, but that's your, own, that's your own opinion. That's your own choice. Yeah. So uh, the guy who wrote in the other day made a number of racist comments about Mexicans, and you're, you're, you're saying that was a nice letter he wrote? Well, I don't know if I want to say it was the right – I don't have anything against Mexicans or blacks or anything else. Yeah, I know. Some of your I best friends with, are I'm blacks. I work in construction. I work with plenty of people of different ethnicities. Because you have to. Well, because I have to, yes, sir. There we go. But I, I just didn't feel like you uh, treated the guy right with, with in, in respect to his letter and whatnot. So I, I should have uh, backed him when he was making racist comments about Mexicans. I should have agreed with him. Well, I don't believe I, I don't know about that. I just felt like you kind of left it. I, I don't think you, you, you treated the guy. And, and, and well, what do you think, guy? Tell me what I should have done. Well, I don't know if you should have gotten the whole thing about the whole key white anyway. Well, what's that have to do with us and and, and your listeners? I'm just pointing out that somebody in L.A. is starting a new radio station that I think is going to be a failure because it's uh, all white all the time. I don't think they'll last at all. And I'm a white man. I don't think they'll last at all. I think 80% of the people are Hispanic. Count the other people, that's 90%. Uh, 80% of the people are not Hispanic. That's not true. 80% of the people are what now, sir? Are not Hispanic. That's just not true. In the world or in Southern California? Both. Oh, I, I don't believe you're right, sir. Uh, uh, we, believe me, uh, all I do is demographics. I'm in the advertising and marketing business. Well, I'll tell you right now, I, I, I really enjoy your show, and I think you're doing a good service for the people. I think I am, too. I just uh, wanted to touch on a point. I'm sorry if I upset you at all, any, in any way. It's not just that you're uh, offending or upsetting me. I'm not upset, but the truth has to be told. I, I'm not going to back a racist. And I don't care what color he is, by the way. I'm not going to back a racist who writes a letter to this show. Uh, I understand. Well, you know what? If you did, Tom, if you could blow me up. I, I Blow me up with a non-drug style because I'm not a druggie. And if you can, um, maybe reread that letter so that maybe I was mistaken. I don't think, uh, I don't think you're mistaken. It was a racist letter. And uh, I think you're a racist, and I think you supported what the guy had to say, but I'll blow you up. one 800 tom is our telephone number. Oh, man. This is Taylor on the Tom Likas show. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Yes. You sound like that, uh, that, that recorded uh, tell-me operator when you call. Hello. Thanks for calling Fidelity Investments. I'll get you to a representative in a minute. <laughs> oh, good. I have a soothing voice. Then. I wouldn't call it that. I hate those voice prompts. <laughs> yeah. Well, I wanted to ask you, um, very young person, and don't really listen to your show that often, but thought your opinion might be valuable on this topic. Right. Um, been in a relationship for four years. I'm 22, so that's a really long time. We lived together for three of those years. And starting to just now really want to spread my wings and not break up but move out. That's and the first step. So you don't have the balls to break up is what you're telling me. <laughs> well, I don't want to. I want to experience life like a normal Well, you life. are breaking up, okay, because no boyfriend wants you experimenting with other boys. Well, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Well, what what are you gonna be doing when you when you move out? I want to get a house with some of my girlfriends and date like a normal twenty two year old. Date. But that meaning you'll be having sex with other guys. And no boyfriend wants to be with a woman who has sex with other guys. Well, 
Good point. Yes. So that you are. That's not my, so that's so not my well, 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 we'll get we'll get we'll get to what you called about in a second. But okay. this is you're you're BSing me and you're BSing yourself saying you don't want to break up with them. You just want to move out. And then when you move out, you want to move in with your girlfriends into a house. And you want to go dating like a normal 22 year old. Well, well, dating him. Like, I want him to come and pick me up on a date. And I want yeah. to do things like that with him. Yeah. So. And then eventually uh, it'll be girls night out and you girls will be going out to clubs. And when you do, you'll be tarting yourselves up, all of you. And guys will be trying to pick you up and buy you drinks, and your boyfriend will be home wondering where you are at his home. And then eventually the real truth will come out, and that is that you do want to break up with him, but you're too young and immature, and, and, and you just don't think you can handle the breakup, so you want to ease into it. And that's what you're doing. Yeah. Well, part of it is from his end, too, is, you know, of course I brought up, like, well, we've been together for so long. Like, I want to have a family. I love you. I want to be with you. And that kind of stuff for him is like, well, I don't want to talk about that at all. I, that's not what he's I want too young. He's too young for that. So, and, and then so, the by the way, so are you. Well, yeah. That's so why, do you, why are you bringing this up? And, again, you're bringing it up because you want an excuse to leave. Well, then I didn't feel the way I did. I would never have thought of moving out then, but as a year has passed, I'm feeling, and I want to space myself more. He then is trying to pull me back in more, and it just seems like we're flip-flopping. I don't know. Well, I, all I can say to you is that, uh, uh, again, you're, you're deluding yourself, you're lying to him, and you're lying to me. So end it now. Have be an adult, be a big girl, and it now because that's where it's going. Mm. Let me ask you: Are you telling me that when you move into this house with all these girls, that the bunch of you are not going to go dress in skimpy outfits and go out to clubs at night? Well, that's what we yeah. do anyways. Now I just come home to him every night. <laughs> uh huh. So guys buy you drinks, guys flirt with you, guys grope you, guys try to pick you up. It's funny that you just said pick me up because <laughs> I was at a bar last weekend and the guy tried to pick me up and drop me. He was drunk. Uh huh. It was rude. But yeah, so, that's but you see, your your boyfriend is obviously too young and immature to see what's happening here, and that is that gradually you are dumping him because, as someone who's only twenty two years old, uh, you don't know how to be an adult and step up to the plate and say, you know what, we made a mistake. We were too young. And we I were, should have we had were 18 years old. And, but and, that's my point. But this, why can't you be honest about it? Why do you give me all this crap? You, you, you're telling him, oh, you, you don't want to get married, have a baby. Where's this relationship going? Blah, 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 yeah. blah. It's just a bunch of baloney. And I knew it was baloney the first time you said it. Mm. You are just looking for an excuse. So you can say to him, well, the reason we broke up is because I talked to you about marriage and you didn't even want to talk about it. But mm. the real reason is. You want to get laid by other guys. <laughs> because now you're realizing what you gave up by uh, hitching up with a guy so young. Why can't you tell the truth? I don't... I don't know. I I can. I just am not ready to deal with what's going to come next, I don't think. It's going to come. You might as well deal with it now. Yeah. I mean, what are you waiting for? How is it going to get better? So you've been with him how many years now? Four. Great. So it's going to be even better after five years, six years, seven years together? It's going to be even better breaking up with him then? No. And uh, shouldn't he have the right to go out and uh, go to clubs and, and date other people? I wish he would go out no, no. more. He's such a homebody. Well, he you to want to make that happen? Home. Tell him you're breaking up with him. <laughs> yeah. Because you are breaking up with him. Well, he's got the life right now. I go out and do what I want. He doesn't. Uh, he get, wants uh, I, we don't care about any blah, blah, is all blah, 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 blah. Uh, you are a little girl who doesn't have the maturity to go in there and tell the truth. Yeah. And by the way, you know what I'm saying is the truth, don't you? Of course I do. I, uh, knowing that. Well, why do you, but, uh, you, darling, I've been around the block more than once. Why would you try laying that BS on me? You think I was going to buy it? Maybe I just needed to hear that. 
Yeah, well, you're full of crap, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> well, thank and, you, Tom. And what you really should be doing is going home and telling him that you're moving out on a certain date. And the reason you're moving out is because you have realized now at 22 what you have missed as a young person. You were too young to be in a relationship. And by the way, so was he. Mm-hmm. He doesn't even want to get married, but you shouldn't use that against him. The fact mm-hmm. is, you shouldn't be getting married. Mm-mm. I mean, and, and here's the other thing. I mean, because you, you know, it, it's so obvious you're lying to me and you're lying to yourself and you're lying to him. On the one hand, you tell you tell me you went to him and talked to him about uh, about getting married. Well, years and, ago, and the, uh, but, a year ago. I don't care if it was a year ago. On the other, so a year ago you wanted to get married. Now you want to go out to clubs and get laid. Well, I'm not getting laid, so. Not yet. And that's why you want to move out, because when you move out, your boyfriend won't know where you are, won't know what time you came home, won't see you coming home doing the walk of shame at 7 in the morning. Right? Well, it's working out now, but. But now you want to take it to the next level. You want to get boned by another guy. And you don't have the balls to do it in front of him and hurt his feelings just because you're afraid he's going to cry or whimper or whatever it is you can't handle. So you'll take it to the next step. You'll say, well, we're not, this is not a breakup. We'll still see each other, but I'm going to live with my girlfriend and go out every night. And then when you call me, my cell phone will be turned off and you'll go to voicemail. And then after uh, you, you finally confront me about that after six months or a year, I'll finally say to you, you know what, it's over. Mm. which is what immature people do, mm. like you. Well, I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> you have to tell him it's over and why it's over. Yeah. And if he cries or whimpers, buck up. You're an adult now. Maybe it'll be a gift for him, too, to get well, out. You, of well, you just said you wanted him to get out, but but what are you doing to encourage him to get out? You keep telling him you're his girlfriend. Hmm. We're happy. No, you're friend. not. No, no, you're not. No, you're not. And he's not happy either. Don't don't delude yourself about that. Mm. You're not happy, and he's not happy. I don't think he even realizes that, though. We don't care what he realizes. Right. I'm giving you advice for you. Yeah. Who cares what he realizes? Well, I have for the past year. <laughs> no, you haven't. You've been going out. And being groped by other guys, God knows if you've uh, swapped spit with people or whatever you've done in the parking lot of these places. Mm-hmm. Actually, I'm really good, and I feel good about that, just keeping my integrity. But I well, mean, but you're not keeping your integrity. You're a complete liar. Well, in the fact that I'm not sleeping with other people, at least. So I'm what? Yeah, so you're not sleeping with them, but you're doing other things with them. No. I mean, so I you're haven't... not having. You're not. Guys don't buy you drinks. Well, yeah. You don't dance with other guys? Well, yeah. Guys don't have your cell phone number or your MySpace address? Well. Well, well, yeah, right. (laughs) That's right. I mean, why don't we call your your good friend right now, your pal, your buddy, the boyfriend? Let's call him and tell him that you do that. Well, he knows. Oh, he knows. I I think that's what throws me off, too. It's like I want him to care more about that, but he doesn't. Uh, but, but so. you no, know, you don't want that. That's your ego talking. You don't want this guy. Right. And you want him to want you so that as you're leaving, you your ego will be puffed up saying, yeah, he was crying and he wanted me and I, I told him I, I can't take it anymore. I had to leave. Well, believe me, I'd be it's all about so. This is all about your ego. <laughs> Grow up. It's time to be a woman now. Mm. Well, it's hard. Well, that's what being an adult is all about. You want to go back to a daycare? You want to go back to kindergarten? Go right ahead. But you're an adult now. And the longer you stay with this guy, you're not doing him any good at all. Mm. Yeah. Or you. So, for Christ's sake, step it up. Tom Likas. 
1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. You'll be glad to know when I did the DTB email I got from my girl said, and if I hear the name Tom Likas one more time, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> it's the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. Wide open telephones. Anything goes here. Anything at all. Vicki on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Vicki. I need your help. All right. Okay, the story starts about a week, uh, a month ago when my boyfriend went to Vegas for a bachelor party. So I hang out with one of my girlfriends to some parties. And um, after he came back, i just been fantasizing having my girlfriend joining us in the bedroom. So what is your question? Um, my question is... Um, Am I your phone is uh, you're not, you got to talk into the phone, dear. Okay, am I becoming a lesbian? Are you becoming a lesbian? I wouldn't say that makes you a lesbian. Okay. I mean, oh. it's normal for people to experiment with things like that. In my opinion, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychiatrist, but I'm just speaking from a lifetime of personal experience. It's it, that here's the problem. Mm -hmm. uh, is your boyfriend a future husband? I really like him. Right. Uh, you realize that you are throwing gasoline on the fire here. You're running a risk by doing this. Yes, I I know that. Is it worth it? Mm, but it's been bothering me. Like I mean, just keep having this fantasy in my mind over. All right, what happens if you do it and you really, really like it? Well, my boyfriend, is. I told him about it, and he's not against it. He's not against it, but what happens if you like it so much, you like her better than him? Well, then I guess I am a lesbian. <laughs> so you don't care what happens? I do. Actually, i not only fantasizing what happened in the bedroom, but also how the life would be with the three of us all living together and stuff. So I'm, I'm going a little crazy here. Well, darling, uh, my recommendation is if you're planning a life like that, uh, disabuse yourself of the notion that you're going to have children. I do not want to have children. Okay, good. I don't either, but uh, most women do, and so I'm just telling you. Forget about that. And uh, my boyfriend agreed to have a vasectomy. All right. So, um, I don't know. Am I risking my relationship? Well, of course you are. You are risking it, but you're at an age where, you know, if if something went wrong, you'll you'll live. True. Because the woman will still be your best friend. How about the man? He may or may not be your best friend. By the way, is mm -hmm. your boyfriend going to have sex with your friend? Yes, I, the three of us, um, I don't know. Yeah. What do you mean you don't know? You gotta have that. You gotta decide that before you do it. I told him if he has a vasectomy, he can join us. What do you mean if he has a vasectomy, he can join you? Why? why what if he just used a condom? Mm, because he doesn't do that, and uh, he doesn't do that. No, he does not. So, do you use birth control? No, I do not. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. I am. Yeah. What happens if you get pregnant, dear? I'll have an abortion. Mm -hmm. oh, Jesus. Uh, I don't know. Um, Darling, I think you need to give this a lot more thought. Unbelievable. Our email address is my name, Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.